Alrighty guys, we're going to do another film camera review for you today. Today we're going to look at the Belomo Agat 18K. This is actually the second series, or second camera in the series. The original was just called the Agat 18. Um, it's just an upgrade from the original. It has one major difference is it can use ISO film all the way up to 1600. And this is what it looks like. Nice little film counter. This is a half frame camera made by the fine folks at Bell Lomo. Um, Bell Lomo is one of my favorite camera brands, not because they're rare or expensive or anything like that. Um, I like toy cameras and I especially like half frame cameras. Bell Lomo makes two very good half frame cameras, this being one, and the second one being the Chica, I believe that's how you say it, series of cameras. Um, you can find those cameras all over eBay. This one's pretty popular on eBay as well, but it's really hard to find an American seller. Um, if you look at this camera, it has film, so I'm not going to open this one. Um, here's a look through the viewfinder. Yeah, not, not not much to look through there. Uh, it's a very basic camera. Here's my second one. To control the camera, here's your aperture settings. Just wheels kind of sticky. There we go. You can either look at the top where the symbols are. That's a window and the very first one that's the beach or you can use the which I find easier the um, aperture numbers f16 all the way down the f2.8 um, to focus right down here all in meters from 0.9 meters all the way up to infinity oh uh, yeah I hate meters Usually I just multiply these numbers by three to get a to get an or divide them by. Or is it multiply? Yeah. So five, five meters would be about 15 feet for me. So that's what it looks like. Um, this one has film, so I'm not going to test it. Two of my cameras have film. I do have an Agat 18K in the original box. Here is it. I don't know what these say, but let's go ahead and open it up. Here's another Belomo. That one I can open. And here's the instruction manual. It all, it's all in Russian. My favorite Soviet camera did not come with English instructions. Comes with nice graphics. Um, kind of don't need Russian to understand the manual. It has enough pictures for you to follow along. Although learning the aperture settings is kind of difficult. There is an English translation online. Here's all the different parts. There you go. It does have a hot shoe, which is hidden away up here. Did not know it had a hot shoe for the longest time until I was repairing these. So there's the hot shoe. Again through the viewfinder. Um, and that's about it. This one I am going to open up for you. To open them up, yeah, see if I could do this looking through the camera. You have to hold that and pull at the same time. You put your film over on this side, and you wind it all the way through here, and that's it. It's a pressure plate. The serial number is 9216151. I really don't know the numbers because all of my cameras have different numbers for serial numbers, um, so I can't tell how many they've made. But what I can tell you, everyone's just a little bit different. Um, one of the cameras doesn't have metal or black screws. Screws are different. The spindle's a little different than other ones. And one of them doesn't have the uh, shutter button with a cable release socket. So, to put it back together, this is all you do. The string gets in the way. The Agate 18K camera does have its own flicker group, which I am pretty, pretty active, and I, I have I have a uh, repair guide for you. So if you ever want to take apart one of these cameras, check out Flickr. And down here, which I can't undo on this one, but for some reason, I can on this one. The lens cap is attached to the tripod mount. So if you want to use a tripod mount, take off the lens cap, and there's the tripod mount for you right there. This is once again this is made by a company named. Bellomo, 
it has nothing to do with Lomo with and the uh, LCA. It's a separate company on its own, so it's Bell Lomo. I think it says it on there. Well, sort of. B E upside down V. <laughs> so not the same company, but very similar. Um, the Bell Lomo camera or company, they have a lot of cameras in their camera line. All are very cheap and v consumer based. They really didn't have any uh, professional grade cameras. Um, let's see, the Chica was their most popular camera. It is also a half frame camera, but it's more traditional style. This is a very odd looking camera, if you, if you say. Uh, they also made an Elecon, which is extremely popular with Lomography uh, collectors. And the Elecon Auto, and uh, another camera called a Silhouette Electron, which is a, uh, I believe it's a Selenium based camera. Um, their most popular cameras or the Vilia series cameras and the Chicos again uh, the Vilia Auto is a great great camera if you ever want to pick that one up um, very easy to repair and you can find it all over eBay and there's not much more to this company uh, it's actually still around um, they have uh, they make optics for cameras or not cameras for uh, microscopes and the military like military scopes for guns and they're in a joint um they're not joint venture with uh, the German company Zeiss. So Carl Zeiss and a Russian company is teaming up. All they do is make optics for no uh, microscopes. And they do have, they have made, uh, what do you call those things? Magnifying glasses in the past, like for jewelers. Um, it's very cool to see a few of these and a few of the magnifiers here in America. Uh, so if you ever go to a pawn shop and they pull out their little magnifier to see if your uh, jewelry is real or fake, um, if they use a balloon, it's pretty cool. They do have really top-notch optics. Uh, also, almost all of their cameras use the Industar series, and that's how you say Industar in Russian. Industar 104 is this lens. Um, the Industar 50 is the most popular lens in a Industar 50-2. Uh, it actually has a cult following, which um, people that like Lomo want to upgrade to an SLR lens with a SLR camera the the Industar 50-2 is extremely popular uh, you can get it in a M42 mount as well and that's about it here's the I got 18k half frame camera guys so let's go ahead and take a picture does this one have film nope so we're gonna wind it which you can't do because there is no film all right we're going to waste a shot on this one. Let me just set it to lowest setting, macro. So, I'm going to burn a shot. Oh, where I've already wind it. And you do is look through here and take a picture. So, let me take a picture of myself. That's it. One more, just because it's half frame. There it is, the Agat 18K. Guys, happy collecting, happy shooting. If you want a nice half frame camera, contact me because I would love to get rid of one of these. There's no point in having three of them. And they did come in different colors. Uh, I'm, been, I'm starting to see purple ones pop up on eBay, but this classic yellow was also orange at one point. So this is the Agat 18K. I don't think there's any reviews online for this one, so. Again, Belomo, great Russian cam camera company. Uh, a lot of people call them cheap. I just call them really consumer based. I mean, they were making s cameras for Soviet Russian people who weren't that popular back then. So that's a look through the viewfinder. Ooh. All right, and that's all I have for you today. Happy shooting, guys.